Hello, this is JNM and I added some new features to my Blender add-on JSculpt, more or less for retopology. We start again with this sculpt and on the right side you can see the panel for JSculpt and it has a new feature called Draw Retopo Mesh. It's an operator that you can use to draw points onto the sculpting onto the high poly mesh. Now I activate it and then I press the control key and click onto the mesh. Ok, now we have a few points and by pressing the enter key you can connect the points to an edge loop. Ok, now you can go ahead and use the default tools in edit mode. For example press E to extrude or S to scale and you see the mesh is snapped to the high poly. If the normals don't point to the outside you can press this button and we can also add modifiers to the mesh with an on-screen UI. For example here the shrink wrap for which you can define the offset. You see I added these widgets that you know from JMesh to the JSculpt add-on. Again I use extrude, rotate or scale to extend the mesh and we see it above the high poly because we added the shrink wrap modifier. Ok, nice, but the features aren't limited to retopology. If you like you can also add here a solidify modifier to add more thickness to the mesh. It's a bit redundant because we also have this feature in JMesh tools, but if you use just JSculpt then you can have this now as well. Of course you can also combine it with JMesh tools and for example use for this mesh the bevel feature to make it look more crisp and smooth or the mirror operator to bring it to the other side. The draw retopo mode can also be used to add a face. Again I control click to add points to the mesh and then I press the control and the enter key. Now a face is added, I flip the normals and add a shrink wrap and that's a pretty good start for a retopo and we can use for example here the poly build tool to extend the mesh. I also rotate and scale the edges and again you can see it is nicely snapped to the high poly. But this is just the beginning for the retopo features in JSculpt. I have many ideas for features that I'm going to implement to the add-on. You can find it on my github for free, the link is in the description, but if you get it from the blender market I can give you special support. Beside of that you are supporting then the blender dev fund. Ok guys I hope you found this interesting and useful, if you do then please don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my social media on facebook, twitter and instagram and support me by becoming my patron or join here as a channel member, this would be great. Add your questions or ideas to the comments and I'll see you on JNM.